have a challenge for you. Ooh, hide the chat. Um, do you like good, juicy, transitional lenses? Find yourself an optician, let me tell you. Jazz and Master's in the house. Oh, she's not here, but she's always in this house. That's a big plane. You hear that? Blame it on the plane. It had crashed. Okay. Pausing for plane. <laughs> I want to talk about transitions. I'm not talking about transitional lenses. I don't wear them. Um, I'm talking about going from one thing to another. It's deep, right? <laughs> it's pretty deep, man. Um, the transition from the surface to the depths will kill a person, right? From the shallow to, if you go shallow to deep too fast, you'll die. The pressure, right? In the ocean? If you drop from too high and go too low too quick, you'll also die. The transition's too fast. And if you go from man to woman, or vice versa, or some kind of gender traversal, that's uh, hard to manage. It won't kill you. It could very well kill you. A lot of surgery. Most times. Surgery can always kill you. You got bad blood, Janet. It's not gonna work. But Bob, you promised it would. You know. Um, transitioning from puberty to adulthood. Something tells me there's a certain segment of the population having a particularly hard time with that one. I'll give you a hint. The group of people, we call them by a simple name, one syllable word with only three letters and it rhymes with Ken. Men. <laughs> Men are so fucked. It's weird to be a gay man now because I'm having to manage the transition between... Well, mine, mine is different. It's, it's too complicated. I have never felt like a man or a woman. I felt like an alien. And I still feel like that. I, feel, I still feel like that. This actually feels, to be honest, a little more natural because I've got the face of a woman in the body of a, what a, you know, I could be 18, it could be 50, um, wearing a hoodie and a hat, you know. I could have curly blonde locks in there, Bob, but I will never show you because I'm too ashamed of my scabs. And uh, I had too much Red Bull tonight, that's why I'm not in bed. This video is for myself. Um, smoke camel Turkish skulls because they're smooth and mellow and not a menthol and they're a Turkish and domestic blend. And the thing that I'm having the hardest time right now in my life is managing the transition from smoker to non-smoker. I make the transition from alien to man to woman to man to woman to man back to alien, sometimes all in under 24 hours. But I cannot effectively manage the transition, which is moment to moment, of becoming from going from smoker to non-smoker. And I know you guys don't like labels. <laughs> or I know that you do. Wait, first we didn't like label first we didn't like labels and now we love labels. Do we love labels? I'm not sure. There's so many. In any case, um, the label in this in this instance is perhaps falsely apt or required for at least the initial stage of the transition, which is what? You're going from A to B. I'm this is for myself, by the way. I don't care. Is that, number? is that the number of Yelp comments that I'm receiving on the internet right now? I hope not, Bob. That's a tough number to tackle. <laughs> uh, so, we're going from A to B. You live in Hudson, you're going to Marlboro. That's a, that's a simple, it's a simple problem. You want to go to Marlboro, but you live in Hudson. 
I'm sorry, let's switch that because Marlboro's the secrets. You live in Marlboro, you want to go to Hudson. That's more relatable because I'm from Marlboro and I often went to Hudson to see my friend Kristen Joyce. How are you? You are having a baby. You're having a baby. She's having a baby. I don't think she's had it yet. Stay tuned. Let me know in the comments, which I won't read. Um, we gotta get to Hudson, but we live in Marlboro. What do we do? Rent a car. I live on the other side of town, so I'll borrow my parents' car. I don't own the car. It's not my car. What if it crashes? I don't want to take it. I, for some reason, I can't get out of the house. I can't go to Hudson because I'm convinced that Marlboro's the place for me. Marlboro's the place to be. In Marlboro, I can be myself. I can take a break. I can have a cigarette. I can reconnect to the joys and mysteries of life through smoking. So here we have the most, the, the essential feature of our problem, which is what? That smoking provides some kind of relief, that it's a good thing. We know it's a bad thing, but in the moment it's a good thing. And it, it, smoking in this moment won't kill me. That's the, that's the tough part. This cigarette is not gonna kill me. Unless I jab it in my eye and then strangle myself. But then that, I just strangle myself. This one, so I, could, I could blind myself, I could burn myself all over with a cigarette, but I could, I mean, I could choke on it. I don't know, I mean, I could, it would be hard to kill myself with this one, one cigarette, even though it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> it's also crunk. <laughs> People don't use the word crunk anymore, but I feel like they should continue. People are crazy when they're drunk. To me, they're crunk. You, whenever you're drunk, to me, you're crunk. And I don't like, I don't get, I like getting, is it crunking? Shrunk! Just weed. Um, it's just the weed that I need. The coke, not for this bloke. The meth, uh, it means death. Um, okay, so I need to become a non-smoker. Back in the day, buffet, when we were goth, reading Alexander, why do I say Alexander? Alistair Crowley Toth, tarot deck. Um, we used to go to Bickford's. The goths went to Bickford's to the Dine, uh, and we were seated in the smoking section, and we proceeded to smoke copious amounts of cigarettes that we brought in ourselves and drink lots of shitty coffee, which we barely paid for. Um, one day we left, we skipped the check, and we were met with a, a, a gang of guys with literally two by fours and chains, emerged unscathed, thankfully. It was scary though. Mm -hmm. The transitions. I don't know how to do it. It's tough when you are trying to quit smoking. Anybody can tell you that. A true smoker. And that's the thing, that's again. Whoa, so back to the quintessential, uh, so back to the essential feature, which is the lie. This doesn't provide any relief, but I've decided that it does. That's the power of the human mind. I've decided that a thing that is sure to kill me one way or another. Maybe not directly with lung cancer emphysema, probably so, but maybe not. Uh, if not, I'll die in the street, you know, trying to stub a cigarette. You know what I mean? It, it's gonna kill you. It's just not a good idea. It's not a good idea. There's so many bad ideas out there circulating, we need to let go of this one, and it'll happen gradually. If the human race survives long enough to see it not smoke anymore, just between us girls, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Call me crazy or cynical. I call myself a realist and a psychic. Want a reading? Uh. But the quintessential feature of my dilemma is the lie that I tell to myself. That this thing that I have decided will make me feel better, will indeed make me feel better. And I believe the lie, so I do it again, and again, and again. And it makes me feel good. It's terrible. Ugh. I thought about transitioning into a wound many, many, many times. Many, many, many times I've considered it. Many, too many times than I can, more times than I can count. Probably well over 100 good times for more than a few minutes each time. Some lasting all day long. And uh, I've decided that it's not for me in this lifetime. I've also decided that at least up until this point and probably for many more years, worrying about eating animals is not my lot in this life. I'm not a person that likes food. I have to eat whatever, I have to eat whatever's delicious. Somebody was saying that years and years from now, perhaps this civilization will look back on its treatment of animals and be like, you know, back to farming. The mass production of animal meat, all this stuff. It's just useless torture, despicable incompetence. Despicable 
incompetence that resulted in needless suffering of defenseless creatures. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. PETA! And, um, uh, it, it, I, and I agree with that. I'm sure that will happen. Among any, um, I, I mean, I, I think that we should focus on humans first, but I know that they're connected. Anyways, that's another one. Transitions. It's tricky. Bring me the news! I'm ready for the big sleep! I'm not afraid of that transition. I just hope it's painless. What's on the other side, baby? It's a big diesel dagger dyke. Thank God. She still don't got it. She's trying to stop it. Oh, there we go. Good night.